Ian? Nobody likes taxes. We were reminded of that this week on tax day, but the government can really exist without taxes. But how specifically would each of you like to see the federal uh, tax uh, regulations reform? Mr. Allen. Well, I think our whole tax system is crazy, ridiculous. The tax code is hard to understand. Nobody likes it. Uh, there are too many IRS agents. Now we're going to add 16,000 more. I'm for the fair tax. I think it's a very equitable and fair way to do things. It also would abolish the IRS, which most people despise anyway. And also, also 47% of the people don't pay any taxes. 53% do. And I think it's a, a great way to make everybody share in the uh, national debt and, and what we have in this country. It's not fair the way it's set up now. Mr. Brown. Fairtex, I'm certainly uh, uh, interested in looking at that a little further, and, uh, and I believe that we need certainly need to have the IRS reform. And uh, uh, that's pretty, pretty much pretty broad there, I guess. Mr. Adams. First of all, people are worried about excessive taxes, and they're worried about jobs. And they're worried about numerous things. But there's no congressman, there's no candidate that can promise you anything at this point until we take these people out of the White House, we downsize the government, and stop this wasteful spending. The wasteful spending is what's causing the jobs, the, uh, the unemployment that we have today. Because they've taxed our, our our factories so much and, the, and our products have gone so high that the, the people cannot buy them anymore. So they start, uh, like Mr. Fowler said, every time he raises that, he throws me off. <laughs> but anyway, it's got to be handled in the White House first. And from there, we can do a, a, a world of things. It's got to be done inside the White House first. Uh, Mr. Farrell. Fair tax. If the fair tax is passed, it'll be the largest transfer of wealth and the power to the American people since the founding of the Constitution. 22.7% in taxes and hidden compliance costs will disappear. There's $13 trillion in the offshore trust. Alan Greenspan said it's just come back in a week. Thank you. Mr. Cowan. Oh, yeah, I, I agree with Mr. Allen about the tax code being so complicated, most folks can't understand it. I'm also a fair tax candidate. I'd love to see us get a real debate uh, and a real vote on the fair tax. The problem is a lot of uh, Republicans run on the fair tax, and then when they get to Washington, they go around the back door and say, we don't want to ever see that thing come up. Because too many people are invested in the process as they are now. They're getting money from it. They're, they're gaining from that. So, uh, but I, I am a fair tax candidate. I think we need to, to uh, change our tax system so as to incentivize businesses and to reward uh, prosperity and success and, and not take away from those folks that are, that are helping the country build small businesses and build our 